Okay, before we get into any actual examples, there are a couple of other things that we need to talk about first. Uh, and these are some very basic logs um, that don't have bases. The very first one that we need to be aware of uh, is the natural log. And the natural log comes from a Latin word, so instead of it being NL like you think that it would, it's LN. Anytime we see natural log x equals y, it actually does have a base here. It's just not written. The natural log has a normal base of the number e. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in even though we don't technically write it there. So anytime you see natural log of x, that automatically means that there's a base of e. Well, because we should be able to switch forms very easily, we're going to take that base of E, raise it to the other side, this is the exponent here, equals the argument. The argument in this case is X. So our logarithmic form looks like the natural log of X equals Y. Our exponential form then looks like E to the Y equals x. Those are the same form, uh, you know, a different form rather of the same thing. This is exactly what this is saying here. I've just written mine backwards so that it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, the other time that you will not see a base is when we have what we call the common log. The common log looks like log x equals y. It's the word L-O-G, log. When we see this, we have an understood base of 10 there. So very interesting. As this is called the common log. Now if we were to switch that over to exponential form, I would take that base of 10, raise it to the other side, that's the, the exponent, equals what's left, which is called the argument. So, anytime we see log without a base, that's automatically assumed to be a base 10. So we have the logarithmic form, log x equals y, or the exponential form of 10 to the y equals x. That is again what this is saying. So we have to know those two um, in order to be able to move forward. Okay, let's go ahead and do a couple of examples really quickly. I have these two examples where we are going to be switching the forms back and forth. For me, it's easier to switch from logarithmic to exponential, so let's go ahead and do this example first. Here we have ln x equals 4. Natural log of x equals 4. Well, in order to switch this to an exponential form, we need to take the base here, which is not written. So what is the base when we're working with natural log? That would be a base of E. So we're going to take the base, raise it to the other side, that's the exponent, equals the argument, which in this case is X. So our exponential form here would be e to the fourth power equals x. Let's go backwards now. Here we're given an exponential form and we're supposed to write this as logarithmic form. Okay, we need to decide first of all if we're going to use ln or log. Because our base here is a 4, we're going to use log. We only use natural log when we have a base of e. So we have our log, the base of the exponential is the same as the base of the log. So now the only thing that I have left here is I have to write in my argument and my exponent. So now you could do this backwards if you wanted to. If it's easier to switch over towards exponential like we did here, you could say, well, the base of 4 raised to the other side, which they have as a 2, equals the argument, be 16. Now we could switch this easily back to um, logarithmic form. 